I will believe that the information minister will agree with you that when a politician openly threatens a journalist, that must be condemned. I, I'm not sure anybody will have any other view on that matter. However, my reaction to the report and the economics thing, when mm. I first saw the report, I was very surprised. But when I looked at the criteria, I was excited. I was no longer surprised because this point about the independent mechanisms for media to make money, I've been talking about it forever. That is the beginning and end of independent media in the modern world. Independent media right now is economics. That's fundamental. Without any media you see across the world that you can think of as independent. I, I will give the example of the relationship between Donald Trump, the former US president, and the uh, CNN over that period and the exchanges they had. The reason why CNN was able to survive that situation in America is that they have an independent way of generating their own money, a way that is developed by mechanisms, technical mechanisms, that have been available for in America for a long time. I've attended many digital migration conferences, and the real reason for the Americans insisting that this must happen all over the world globally is towards independent media. That's the fundamental thing. But in Ghana, over the last four years, five years, the conversation about media independence has never included economic independence, being able to generate your own resources. So when I saw that, I was terribly excited that, oh, finally, we now have this criteria, and it is the reason for why Ghana is looking bad. But Ghana will certainly look bad if you are using the economics criteria. And I was gratified that it's not so much about security and other criteria, but it's fundamentally about economics. I was a bit concerned that the early analysis of the report did not talk about that. The early analysis of the report went straight to the, the means that journalists are being hounded, they are being arrested and all of that. And I asked myself, when I listened to Jana Pinting, who is a former boss of the National Media Commission, who said that we should now develop our own index at the National Media Commission, our own index within our context so that we can deal with it. So this economics matter, I think from now onwards, should lead the conversation. How do we, what are the mechanisms between the National Media Commission, the National Communication Authority, the Ministry of Information, what mechanisms... And the Ministry of Communication. Yes, and the Ministry and of Communication, yes. Yes, what, what mechanisms should we apply to be able to give independent media the voice? I've been screaming about this this okay, morning. So, so no, let no, no, let me make the point. I'll no, come. we'll, come, no, no, this we'll morning, come to talk about that in detail. No, I, I, want, I just I want, wanted your brain. My, my mother comments. is watching, she wants me to make the point. This morning, <laughs> this morning. Your mother. Yes, yeah, she's watching. <laughs> This morning, because she was telling me that oh, so yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this, this morning, people are watching you on television, and they are watching you for free. It will not happen in England. It doesn't happen in America, except you are the state. In fact, in America, it doesn't happen at all. In England, if you are the state broadcaster, it happens. So it happens, but people pay TV license fees. Yes, so the state uh -huh. broadcaster gets that. Yes. Okay. So at the end of the day, you are now, still paying somehow. Now, what we have been doing at the NCA is that develop a, a box, a, a decoder for Ghanaian television. On that decoder, give an option of pay TV. TV3 can decide that our program uh, key points is so good that we want it on the pay channel. NCA will look at it. There's a criteria to determine which one can come on the pay channel. So it comes. So people who watch TV3 this morning will see you start the program at 7 a.m. They will see an announcement that if you want to continue to watch this program with Jifai and Suleiman, Brahma and Paul, move to this channel. That channel, you're going to pay five CDs to see it. If and until we are able to achieve that, and it has been achieved in all those places in the world where we admire their television. So when you walk out of this studio this morning and your program is good and people like it, you may have ended up with a million cities on Saturday morning. TV3 continues to build up its programs for the, for the pay channel. By the end of today, they may have made five million cities. That's the independence that you need. That's what you need. So in England, when I worked a little bit for the BBC, they don't even travel with officials. Sky News flies their private jets with their reporters to the European Union conference. That's independent. They okay, don't even so let, travel with them. Okay, so we let, have to travel with them. Let's put a pause there. No, no, we, we have to travel with them, don't we? We have to travel with the uh, vice president. We have to travel mm -hmm. with Joe Mahama. But if TV3 could have his own helicopter and say, Jifa, we hear President Kufado is going to Apiati. We are going with him. The helicopter takes off and it's branded TV3. When you arrive there, what's the information minister going to tell you? In fact, you can decide to ignore him. Okay.